Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Marvel. Solar Breathing Technique, X-Men is Superman. Chapter 1. Breathe in and breathe in the sunlight. On the roof of Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. Sor and Lee, sitting cross-legged. On hand, is a dozen ice-cold cokes. He is waiting for the intruder to arrive. Although it was already night, with his breathing. Between heaven and earth, the energy of the sun escapes. Also, the bright moon in the sky reflects the sun's rays. They all converged into the purest solar energy invisible to the naked eye, following his every breath. Poured into his body. This is the, sun breathing method. With each breath, you can absorb and absorb the energy of the sun. Comprehensively strengthen yourself. When the body strengthens to a certain level, it can awakening in various super abilities related to the body. Like, Superman from the comics. Even awakening super ability is the same. Practicing breathing methods strengthens the body. There is no limit. Keep it in practice to the level of a silver superman or a golden superman. It's just a matter of time. What he relies on is not genetic blood. He has none of superman's weaknesses. In fact, he is a time traveler. Coming from the world of our readers, there are no superheroes, gods or aliens. Just one, an ordinary wage earner. Once worn, it returns to youth and becomes a baby. He was sent to an orphanage in the suburbs of New York to be raised. He was named Sauron Lee because of his oriental appearance. Although there is a gold finger, it cannot be officially awakened until you are an adult at the age of 18. However, the newbie gift package will be distributed in advance. Inside, there is only one, sun breathing method. Since then, Solon Lee has been practicing the sun breathing technique every day. Soon, I became proficient in it. Walking, sitting, lying down, sleeping, as long as I breathed, I was practicing. You can become stronger. The energy of the sun spreads throughout the blue star. Even at night, he can absorb the fixed star energy that escapes at night, or absorb the solar energy reflected from the moon. And as the body is strengthened by the energy of the sun moment by moment. Various super abilities, such as self-awakening due to the body being too powerful, began to appear. Super strength, body of steel, super brain, super speed, super hearing, super vision and so on. During his awakening heat vision, the entire house in the orphanage was split into two halves due to too much movement. He is considered, mutant, ability awakening in adolescence. Sent to orphanage and sent to Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. Professor. Sauron has long known that he traveled through the Marvel Universe. Since being mistaken for a mutant. He simply assumed the identity of a young mutant who had gained the ability to have super heat vision. Be an above board student of Xavier's school. It's much more comfortable here than in the orphanage. Professor X, rich. Thieves are rich. Xavier's school, formerly the Xavier family estate. Covering an area of thousands of acres. Under the name of the Xavier family, hundreds of medium and large companies are controlled. Even Osborne Company, Stark Industries, and the Xavier family all hold certain shares. When I go to school here, every month, Charles will give me a considerable amount of living expenses and stipends. Sauron settled in happily, and soon awakened flight in the biological force field. At this point, Superman's main super abilities, which he has all awakening, are the same. However, although super ability awakening, but the power of super ability cannot be compared to the real Superman. Sauron divides his own evolution into seven levels. The first level, the Homelander level. The second level, the Man of Steel level. The third level, the Black Iron Superman level. The fourth level, Bronze Superman level. The fifth level, Silver Superman level. The sixth level, the Golden Superman level. The seventh level, Infinite Superman level. After practicing the sun breathing method for 18 years, although most of the sun's energy is consumed in the growth and development of the body and the expansion of the source of life. But his strength is already at the peak of the Azu level. About to enter, Man of Steel level. Tonight is the moment when Sauron officially comes of age. It is also the day when Goldfinger officially awakening. But tonight is the day Xavier's school is invaded by Colonel William. Today during the day, all the teachers and students of the school went to visit the New York Museum of Natural History. Iceman Bobby and Fireman John had conflicts with several young people. Pyro John, used his super ability to trick the opponent. 
Charles, with telepathy, froze the thinking of all ordinary people. Just as he was about to lecture the two of them, breaking news was reported on the TV. Just now, President America was assassinated by mutant in the White Palace. Sauron knows that the plot of X-Men 2 has begun. After returning to the Academy, Sauron sat on the roof. He knew that tonight was the time for Xavier's school to hit hard. Phoenix, Jean Grey and Storm Aurora, drove a supersonic fighter plane to find Nightcrawler. Under Scott's protection, Charles went to see the imprisoned Magneto. Being plotted and caught, in the entire academy, there is only one teacher, Wolverine Logan, who has just returned. Colonel William will soon lead the special forces to raid the academy. Wolverine, who is fierce at other times, will be very crotch-stretching tonight. Colossus, still a student, couldn't let go in order to protect other weak companions. Pyro and Iceman are even more useless. It was a huge mutant school, and in the end, those who escaped escaped, and those who were caught were caught. Even the most important brain computer has been removed. Sauron, however, cannot sit back and watch all this happen. Xavier Manor is very big and beautiful. He lives here and is very comfortable. And Charles, a super rich man, bears all his expenses. He already regards this place as his own territory. How can we allow the invaders to run rampant here? Sauron, tonight is your coming of age ceremony. Are you really not going down? Like Sauron, who had the same oriental appearance, climbed onto the roof. Sauron looked at Shuang Shuang, with a cold face, not yet showing any charm. Very pure. No, the professors are not here, I have to look after the house. What kind of coming of age ceremony is just a bunch of brats taking advantage of the fact that the professors are not around? Secretly drinking and partying, he wasn't interested at all. Twinkle tilted her head, looking a little silly. But, isn't there Professor Logan? Sauron sneered. That lone wolf is going to be very crotchless tonight. Go play and sleep peacefully tonight. With me here, you must be very safe. There is strong confidence in the voice. He is now standing at the pinnacle of the Azu level, only half a step away from reaching the iron body level. If nuclear weapons are not released, he really has nothing to fear. A flash of light burst out from his twinkling eyes. Sauron is 1.85 meters tall and has a strong build. Every muscle is extremely obvious. But it's not bloated and the body is extremely flexible. He has that kind of perfect figure. And the appearance is handsome, handsome and sunny. There is also a charm that is unique to Easterners. Every bit of it is deeply attracted by the twinkling girl's thoughts. She threw out a beam of purple energy and opened a space door. She put her hand in and brought out a bowl of noodles. Soren, this is the longevity noodles I made specially for you. There are two eggs in it. Twinkle blushed and handed the noodles to Sauron. Sauron was a little surprised. He didn't expect to be able to eat longevity noodles here on his birthday. Sauron reached out and took it and said, Thank you, Clarice. The twinkling name is Clarice Ferguson. Like Sauron, she is an Oriental. But since childhood, he was adopted by a Western family. Hence the name, which is a Western name. With eyes flashing expectantly, Sauron finished the noodles. I haven't had food from my hometown for a long time. It's so delicious. Sauron sighed. Charles gave him so much living expenses, it's not like he couldn't afford it. But here, it is difficult for you to eat authentic oriental food. His twinkling eyes were filled with surprise. She suddenly said shyly. From then on, I will cook for you every day. Without waiting for Sauron to speak, she opened a space door for herself and escaped from here. Sauron was stunned for a moment. Shake his head and smile. After tonight, I am afraid that all the students in the college will look at him. Full of fear, Sauron gathered his thoughts. Wait quietly. Soon, zero o'clock arrived. Golden light emerged in Soren's mind. Ding. The god level drop system is officially launched. A systematic introduction was integrated into Soren's consciousness. God level drop system, as long as it causes damage to others, defeats, and kills. The other party will drop a treasure light group that only the host can see and obtain automatically. The treasure light group contains one or more abilities or abilities possessed by the opponent. Abilities or abilities that are not needed by the host can be recycled by the system and exchanged for system gold coins. 
System gold coins can be used to purchase axes of different qualities. Use axes of different qualities to chop down a treasure falling sacred tree in the system space, and you can obtain treasures of different qualities. These treasures may be abilities, abilities, magical items or technological creations, etc. Even if these items are unnecessary, the system can also recycle them. Sauron understood it at a glance. This is somewhat similar to a popular mini-game of cutting down trees and cultivating immortals in the previous life. Learn about your gold finger. Soren's eyes were filled with divine light. Hibernating for 18 years. He already has the ability to run rampant in this world. He already doesn't need the protection of the X-Men. Ability that was hidden in the past no longer needs to be hidden. Sauron turned his head and looked east. The enemy has arrived. Under supervision, you can see the sky clearly even late at night. More than 10 kilometers away, several armed helicopters were flying in. On the ground, a commando team has entered the outer woodland of Xavier Manor. Soren's eyes were a little excited. Three years ago, Brotherhood of X-Men and Magneto. Battle at the Statue of Liberty. Sauron did not attend. He was entrusted by Scott to guard the academy and protect Charles who was in a coma due to poisoning. So missed. Tonight is his first battle. It is also his stage to show himself to the world. Soren's figure suddenly disappeared on the roof. Super speed, start. But in an instant, he arrived directly in front of the assault team. He makes no secret of himself. The high energy collection produced light and heat that made the flesh and blood near Soren's eyes transparent. The blood vessels become clearly visible. Two rays of heat vision flashed across the front of the assault team. The earth is melted into boiling magma. A scorching red line blocked the advance of the assault team. Soren's voice sounded. Roll otherwise, die. The members of these assault teams are well equipped. Everyone is wearing a camera. Simultaneous live broadcast to Colonel William's helicopter. Here is the command center. William looked at Sauron, whose eyes were emitting high energy radiation. According to the information he has, Soren Lee has similar abilities to Scott. They all emit high energy light from their eyes. He was not interested in Soren's ability. Perhaps it's because he once studied Scott who is still a minor. Deal with him. Colonel Williams' voice reached the ears of the assault team through the radio. Fire. The captain gave the order, and the entire assault team, 120 people. 120 assault rifles were aimed at Sauron at the same time. Then, fire at the same time. Bullets are coming. Sauron didn't hide at all. He didn't care at all, a storm of bullets that could tear an elephant into pieces. Each pure steel bullet carries terrifying kinetic energy. Hits Sauron. However, the pure steel bullet seemed to hit the adamantium steel plate. It was instantly crushed by the kinetic energy it carried. Pieces of flattened steel pieces fell from Soren's body. A distance of more than a thousand meters, plus a silencer. Let the gunfire be almost inaudible when it reaches the academy. However, Wolverine woke up instantly from his sleep. He possesses five senses that are as sharp as Superman's. In an instant, he recognized the sound of a gunshot. Shet. Logan immediately understood that something was wrong. At this moment, he was the only teacher in the entire academy. He quickly jumped out of bed and put on a coat, not even bothering to put on his shoes. Just come to the corridor outside. The entire college was very quiet. It was already late at night, and almost everyone was already asleep. Logan quickly came to the balcony on the third floor and looked in the direction where the gunfire came from. In this late night, the muzzle fire penetrated the cover of the jungle. Logan turned his head and looked towards the roof. Sauron had been sitting there since evening. The figure has long since disappeared. Logan probably figured it out. Sauron went to fend off the attackers. At the moment, the fire in the distance disappeared. The 120-man assault team looked at the target they were shooting at with shock in their eyes. Soren's body was intact. Even the clothes on his body were not even dusty. Biological force field perfectly protects clothes. This is impossible. No one can, under such firepower, remain intact. Devil. He's the devil. Fake. What kind of enemy are we facing? Even the well-trained assault team was shocked and confused. Fear began to grow in their hearts. In the air command center, Colonel Williams' eyes were firmly fixed on Sauron. 
Not only does he have super abilities similar to Cyclops. You actually have such a powerful defensive ability. Shet. Colonel William shouted into the radio. Use gas bombs. I want to live. At this moment, Colonel William was more interested in Sauron than anyone else except Charles. The commando captain heard this and took off a gas grenade from his chest. Pull the ring apart and throw it towards Sauron. The poison gas grenade landed at Soren's feet. Green poisonous smoke spurted out. This poisonous smoke has a strong nerve paralyzing effect. Even if an elephant inhales it, it will be completely paralyzed and still be slaughtered. Sauron lowered his head and looked at the poisonous smoke that gradually enveloped him. He picked up the gas grenade. In the shocked eyes of the assault team, he inhaled the poisonous smoke. Just like smoking, it blows out of the nostrils. Sauron threw the gas grenade away. Toward the strike team. The flesh and blood around the eyes were once again illuminated transparently due to the concentration of high energy. Blood vessels are clearly visible. Buzz. The terrifying high temperature of heat vision causes the surrounding air to heat up rapidly. The air expands and rubs, making a buzzing sound. And Scarlet's heat vision is like cutting tofu. Scan from left to right. There are dozens of trees in the 120 person assault team, and one person is holding a thick uncle in his arms. Divided into two pieces. Boom. Boom. Dozens of grenades were ignited by high temperatures, igniting the gunpowder inside. An explosion occurred. Big trees fell over and hit the ground, making huge amounts of noise. Many trees were set on fire by the terrifying high temperatures of explosions and heat vision. The blazing fire lights up half the sky. And all this happened in just 10 seconds. Logan was still standing on the third floor balcony. That scarlet heat vision that is extremely conspicuous in the dark. Let Logan confirm his guess. Fake, what on earth did that boy do? Dozens of grenades exploded. This movement is too big. The entire college was completely awakened after the explosion. In an instant, it went from quiet to chaotic. What happened? What sound? Is it thundering? Where was the explosion? Ouch. I want my mother. Many lower grade students were frightened. Start crying, asking for mother or teacher. But the senior students were even more curious. Colossus, appears behind Logan. Professor Logan, what happened? He is a tall man who came of age last year but remains at the academy. Is an X-Men reserve. No need for Logan to point. Colossus had already seen the blazing flames a kilometer away. I told Bobby to put out the fire. Colossus didn't realize what was happening. I just want to let Iceman Bobby put out the fire to avoid causing forest fires and threatening the school. Etc. Logan spoke. Someone is invading the academy, and Sauron has gone to stop it. The sound just now was the explosion of a grenade. Now, you should immediately gather the senior students and protect the children in the lower grades. I'll go over and see what's going on. After Logan finished speaking, he jumped from the balcony on the third floor. Colossus looked at the fire in the distance in surprise. He suppressed his inner curiosity and hurriedly found Iceman Bobby, Pyro John, and Shadowcat, the senior students. Logan ran quickly. Some branches scratched some small wounds on his body. But in the blink of an eye, it healed again. Logan has long been used to such minor injuries and pains. A thousand meters away, Logan arrived in less than a minute. He was shocked by the scene in front of him. Dozens of fallen trees and blazing fires. And on the edge of this fire, the corpses of more than a hundred people were all cut into two parts. Many of them were blown to pieces due to the explosion of grenades. Thermal vision will cauterize the wound in an instant without causing bleeding at all. But the explosion of the grenade left blood everywhere here. Even, the yellow soil where the body was. All stained red. And Sauron stood there, watching quietly. His feet had been submerged by thousands of steel pieces. But Logan has participated in almost all of America's wars. Recognizable at a glance. That's a squashed bullet. He turned his head and looked at Sauron. His eyes were filled with horror. He fought alongside Cyclops Scott. Scott's Cyclops, which emits laser energy beams, is a high energy shockwave. When an ordinary person is hit, his body will be hit hard and fly out. So, the person who was attacked by Scott. They were all knocked away by shockwave. Knocked out. But these militants in front of me. But in an instant, the body was cut open by high energy light. 
It's like the objects cut by lightsabers in the science fiction movie, Star Wars, that Logan watched. Among mutants' various super abilities, this kind of ability is already at the top. But Sauron actually possesses some kind of terrifying defensive ability. It is true that a very small number of mutants can awakening multiple super abilities. Logan has super self-healing, slows down aging, retractable bone claws, susceptive perception, etc. But Logan has never seen Sauron with such ability. Invincible attack and invincible defense. But what shocked Logan the most was this. Sauron is a child who has just grown up tonight. Before that, I had been living in orphanages and colleges. In an instant, more than a hundred militants were killed. But Sauron showed very indifferently. It was like just using super ability to knock down a few trees. No, when the professor comes back, he must pay attention to Soren's psychological problems. At the Air Command Center, Colonel William was completely stunned. A 120-man assault team. This is the elite trump card in his hand. That's it, gone. Even though he is a powerful colonel in the American military. Specifically responsible for mutant issues. But I can't afford such a loss. He thought he had caught Charles and Cyclops, but Phoenix and Storm were not there. Taking down Mutant Academy will be very easy. It's just a bunch of kids. Even if you have super ability, so what? But he didn't expect it. Among these children he didn't care about. Surprisingly, Sauron is hiding this ferocious tiger. With fear in his heart, he had the intention to kill Sauron. Bomb that place for me. Colonel William roared into the radio. He believes that mutant's ability is not unlimited. So what if you have strong defense? He didn't believe that the rockets and missiles on several armed helicopters would not be able to break Soren's defenses. The six armed helicopters headed straight for the academy and changed their direction. The infrared scanner locked onto Sauron and Wolverine's infrared signals. Then, fire it up. The M134 Vulcan cannon sprayed 7.62 mm bullets from the six barrels, forming a terrifying torrent of bullets. The M230 30mm cannon sprays high explosive armor piercing projectiles. The AGM 114 inches Helfa, anti tank missile, dragging its tail flame, comes straight towards us. Hydra 70mm rockets, an armed helicopter fires 20 rounds in a row. MH60 LDAP is an improved version of the famous Black Shadow helicopter. At this moment, he showed his extremely powerful firepower. Bullets and high explosive armor piercing shells arrive first. Wolverine was directly blown away by a high explosive armor piercing projectile. Large pieces of flesh and blood on the body were torn to pieces, revealing the silver adamantium skeleton. Logan, passed out, super self healing, starts to repair the body. With a casual wave of his hand, Sauron swatted away a high explosive armor piercing projectile that went straight to his face. He raised his head and looked at the six helicopters flying over. Supervision, lock on those missiles and rockets one after another. Super Brain, instantly calculates the interception trajectory. Heat vision sweeps across. Missiles, rockets, all hit. It was detonated in midair. Boom, boom. In the sky, an extremely gorgeous firework bloomed. All the students in the college were attracted. Even the seniors like Colossus ran outside and looked at the bright fireworks. Soren's body left the ground. His body was suspended a hundred meters high in the air. On par with those armed helicopters. Colonel William's head buzzed when he saw this scene. Shet. He can actually fly. M134 six-barreled Gatling Bodhisattva. 6,000 revolutions per minute. The torrent of bullets was like a tsunami. It hit Sauron, who was a hundred meters in the air. The tracer of the bullet, the 7.62 mm bullet, hit that indestructible body. The collision produced dazzling sparks. M230 cannon are hit. 625 rounds per minute. The high explosive armor piercing projectile exploded on Soren's body. His figure was engulfed in the flames of high explosives. Inside the college. Hundreds of students stood in the empty courtyard. Look up and look into the sky. The figure engulfed in gunfire. Who is that? Oh God. Not only can he fly. He can also ignore such terrifying firepower. Awesome. Is he also a mutant? Is he a professor, sent to protect us? 
It turns out Superman is not a comic book fiction, but a real person. Children in the lower grades. The eyes are full of adoration. Extremely excited, looking at that high and powerful figure. However, the seniors all recognized who it was. Shet. When will he be able to fly? And he has such defense. Pyro John, gaping. He used to have a similar ability to Scola regarding this, but he has always been very lazy. I know people who sleep in the sun every day. Very distasteful. But at this moment, he knew. The other party is so powerful. Stronger than the teachers. Shock, envy, and admiration gathered in his heart. Colossus' body changed into a pure steel form. The fiber lines of the muscles are extremely obvious. He lowered his head and looked at his pure steel body. He raised his head again and couldn't help but take a breath. My pure steel body will be torn to pieces in a second when faced with such firepower. Iceman Bobby, clenched fist. Subconsciously, he looked at the girl he liked. Rascal. Sure enough, he saw the scene he least wanted to see. The little naughty eyes stared at Sauron closely. That look was exactly the same as the look he looked at the little naughty boy. Bobby was heartbroken and could hardly breathe. When he accidentally made skin-to-skin -skin contact with me but was not affected by my ability. I knew he was definitely extraordinary. My guess is right. He is so powerful. The twinkling eyes were full of care. He is so powerful, I feel so safe around him. There was a sudden movement in Huan Shuang's heart, and she turned to look at her female classmates. Her heart tensed up instantly. Snort. What a good sister, I was obviously the one who liked him first. I'm not afraid of others, but I have to watch out for Naughty and Shadowcat. Sauron, in no hurry, destroyed the six gunships. He allowed the helicopter's firepower to pour on him. He enjoys this invincible state. However, an armed helicopter is not a flight fortress with unlimited firepower. Soon, the ammunition will run out. In the sky, there are no tracers of bullets or fireworks of artillery shells. The bright moon shines in the sky. Soren's figure is so clear. Colonel William's mind suddenly turned around. Withdraw. Quickly retreat. He shouted loudly. Six armed helicopters couldn't do anything to Sauron. What's more, the ammunition is exhausted. But, at the moment, it was too late to evacuate. Sauron allowed the armed helicopter to complete its turn and fly towards the direction of origin. He smiled for me. It's my turn. Soren's tone was light. For so long, he had been using his heat vision. But now, he wants to try his other abilities. Boom. The bright moon is clear, but there is thunder in the sky and the earth. Sauron broke through the sound barrier in an instant. Overtaken, a helicopter. He ran straight into it. The rotating alloy propeller, so fast. Even armored vehicles can be cut open. However, at the moment when he poked Sauron, countless alloy fragments are flying in all directions. Boom. Helicopter, explosion in the air. Colonel William looked at the series of data on the display in the command center. I just feel like my brain is freezing. Five times the speed of sound. Fake. How can he be so fast? Thick despair filled the hearts of everyone on the helicopter. No matter how fast the helicopter flies, it cannot break the sound barrier. It can't reach Mach 1 speed. How to escape from the hands of Mach 5 Sauron? Boom. Another helicopter exploded in the air. Soren used his hands to directly tear open the alloy body. Boom. Boom. Two helicopters collided and exploded. It was Sauron, grabbing the tail of a helicopter and throwing it. Loaded, another one. In a blink, six armed helicopters, only two left. Colonel William, on one of them. Boom. The other one was cut in half by scarlet heat vision in front of Colonel William's eyes. In the explosion, it became countless fragments. Soren appeared in the direction of the last helicopter in an instant. With a smile on his face, he looked at William in the helicopter. In an instant, William understood. Sauron did it on purpose. He became a mouse under the cat's paw. The helicopter that Colonel William was on braked suddenly and hovered in the air. The driver was tempted to fire. But all the firepower has already been poured out. Hit with a helicopter. Give me a break. The five wingmen that were destroyed just now are a lesson from the past. Everyone in the helicopter looked at Colonel William. One's own life and death are no longer under one's control. Even though he was a loyal subordinate, he looked at his leader. Already full of complaints, 
As promised, let's do some cooking. They are a group of kids with a bit of super ability. But even the famous Magneto. I didn't kill them either, just like stepping on ants. Colonel William, how could he not see the eyes of his men? He understands. The situation is over. Sauron stepped in the air. Step on the air and walk step by step. Already arriving, he did not stop in front of the helicopter. Super strength plus body of steel. Even if there is a 10 meter thick concrete wall in front of him, it cannot stop his progress. The front of the helicopter was first twisted, collapsed, and then torn apart. Soren walked straight to Colonel William. Grabbing his back collar, he strode forward. The tail compartment of the helicopter was torn apart. Sauron carried Colonel William and flew towards the academy. Behind him, the out-of-control helicopter spun and fell to the ground. Boom! The explosion ignited some tall trees. In the courtyard of the college, everyone's eyes followed Sauron closely. With his feet on the ground, Sauron threw Colonel William away. William, who was already old and had not done anything for decades, was surrounded by several senior students. Don't kill him. The professor and Scott are still in his possession. Sauron spoke. One of the upperclassmen spoke up. Yes, Sauron. His tone was full of respect. He even couldn't help but straighten his body. There is no doubt that in his subconscious, he has regarded Sauron as the leader. The leader of the new generation of mutants. Sauron looked at him and the rock collapsed. A mutant whose body can turn into rock can effortlessly lift objects weighing seven tons. Limbs can be separated freely and controlled remotely. A powerful mutant. Sauron nodded. He quickly accepted this change. Bobby, go put out the fire in the forest. Sauron spoke directly. Iceman Bobby frowned. He was jealous because of love, and subconsciously resisted Soren's words. Just as he was about to refuse, he met Soren's eyes. Soren's eyes were very calm. But there is a majesty in this calmness. A majesty that cannot be denied. This was the first time Bobby saw this kind of look from Soren. He knew that the Sauron in the past had nothing to do with the world and only wanted to sleep in the sun. Completely disappeared. And now Sauron is the most powerful mutant he knows. Yes. Bobby still lowered his head. Bobby, go put out the fire. Pyro John, eager to try. Sauron, I can also put out fires. Let me go too. Fire and ice, Bobby and John competed in everything. John's eyes were full of admiration for the strong. This time, he wasn't trying to compete with Bobby. Rather, he wanted Sauron to also notice him. Teacher Logan is unconscious, go and bring him back. Sauron did not let Colossus go. There, there were the bodies of 120 people. After John saw it, the whole school must know about it. Sauron is screaming. Look at these mutant students, after knowing what they have done. Who would identify with myself? That's his team. A fragrant wind blows towards my face. Flashing cheeks blush. But she still had the courage to do it in front of all the students. Standing in front of Sauron. She used her handkerchief to wipe the non-existent smoke and dust on Soren's face. Soren, thank you for your hard work. Are you hungry? I'll cook you some oriental food. Shuang Shuang knew that she had an advantage over other female classmates. She and Sauron are both Easterners, even though they both grew up in the Western world. But there are many things deep inside that cannot be changed. Hey, the male students couldn't help but make joking noises when they saw this. Although it is a mutant school, the management is not as strict as other schools outside. But teachers still have some control over falling in love. Therefore, when some people fall in love, they avoid it. Flashing like this is almost an open and honest expression of his love. However, the senior female students. He stared at Shuang, wishing he could tear her apart. Snort. She was one step ahead. Especially Rugrats and Shadowcat. He clenched his little pink fist tightly. Sauron, who came of age just an hour ago. Many things that could not be done in the past can now be done. He has no inhibitions. Get a roast duck and make some dumplings. Sauron was unceremonious. For flickers with random space doors. This didn't bother her at all. Flashing nodded, once the space door opened, there would be no one left. The eyes of the male classmates who were joking just now were filled with envy. Who wouldn't envy such treatment? Sauron looked at Colossus aside and said. 
Contact Jean and Aurora. Tell them to come back quickly. Then, go save the professor and Scott. Pyro John and Iceman Bobby arrived at almost the same time. The raging fire has completely burned out. But Bobby was not in a hurry to put out the fire. Instead, he stared blankly at the fire scene. John's focus is on finding Wolverine. Therefore, the scene in the fire scene was not discovered at the first time. Bobby, if you don't put out the fire quickly, are you waiting for me to come? John said as he patted Bobby on the shoulder. Then, he froze. In the raging flames, the corpses were burned to charcoal. However, its shape can still be clearly identified. In particular, the weapons on his body only burned red but did not melt. Bobby was tapped on the shoulder and he woke up instantly. He swallowed involuntarily. Did Sauron do all this? Bobby, so shocked. Although, Sauron destroyed six helicopters in front of everyone's eyes. But they only saw the helicopter explode, not how the people inside died. I just think Sauron is so strong. No, Deadman's visual impact. But now, 120 corpses were burned to charcoal in the fire. Such a scene, them, flowers in a greenhouse. Never seen before. Vomit. Bobby doubled over and threw up. John was also stimulated and started to vomit. After spitting and spitting, the two of them got used to it. Bobby wiped the dirt from his mouth and looked away. John, we have to tell the professor about this. More than a hundred lives. How can Sauron kill just as he says? As soon as John heard this, he quit. Bobby, look at these weapons. These people, and those helicopters, are obviously here to catch us. Didn't you hear what Sauron said, even the professor and Mr. Scott were captured. For those who want to arrest us, if we don't kill them, are we going to let them arrest us? Teachers, how many mutants have been rescued from the laboratory over the years? If it's not Sauron, kill them. What's waiting for us is to be sent to the dissecting table. The more John spoke, the louder he got. Bobby felt more and more that Soren's approach was too extreme. But he can't kill anyone either. With his ability, he can get rid of them without killing people. When John heard Bobby's words, he was so angry that his head was filled with smoke. He suddenly pushed Bobby away. Listen to what you said. Sympathy for the enemy is cruelty to one's own people. Letting them go will only make people think that we are weak and can be bullied. Since there is no danger of life in attacking us, then they will continue to attack us again and again. Until we are all wiped out. After John finished speaking, he turned to face the fire. He uses his super ability to control the raging fire in the fire field. Gather them together and burn those bodies with all your might. Under his super ability, the power of these flames increased dramatically. He can turn a lighter's fire into a big fireball and even blow up a car. What's more, this raging forest fire. In just a few breaths, those charred corpses were completely burned to ashes. Those red weapons also melted into molten iron and mixed with the melted soil. Bobby sees John, destroying the evidence. He quickly used his ability. Super cold air spurts out from both hands. Extinguish those huge amounts of fireballs. However, he was already too late. John looked at Bobby with disgust in his eyes. He turned around and picked up Wolverine, who was still unconscious on the ground. Walking towards the academy, Bobby clenched his fist angrily. Teacher Logan, you must have seen it. When Logan wakes up, the professor will naturally know how cruel Sauron is. Bobby comforted himself, turned around, and walked towards another fire scene. Soren heard the conversation between Bobby and John clearly. He nodded with satisfaction, as expected of the burning man who later followed Magneto. You can become his subordinate. Even though Iceman is a level 5 mutant, his potential is far greater than Pyro. But Sauron really doesn't like Iceman that much. Not only is it a bit fake, it's also a bit crooked. I ate roast duck and dumplings brought all the way from the east. Let her go to bed. In fact, most of the students have already gone to bed. Sauron came to a room on the ground floor of the academy. Colonel William is imprisoned here. At this moment, Colonel William's face was covered in blood. For a bad guy who wants to invade the academy and capture these mutants for research. These boys in the senior class will not show mercy. Colonel William had at least three broken ribs. He was tied to a chair and his mouth was covered in blood. Soren Lee, I really didn't expect you to hide it so deeply. 
Colonel William has been keeping an eye on the academy for many years. This allowed him to create an opportunity. Unexpectedly, he risked treason by sending mutant Nightcrawler to assassinate the president. Only then did the high-end combat power of mutant school get dispersed. Sneak attack of sneak attack. But Sauron was able to overturn it all by himself. Completely annihilated, he was also captured. Who would have thought that Sauron has more than one super ability? Every super ability is still such a powerful ability. Heat vision, supersonic flight, super strength, super defense. He even felt that Sauron still had ability that had not been exposed. Colonel William, when did you first meet Logan? Sauron stared at William intently. This question is related to whether X-Men could reverse the future 30 years ago. William didn't know why Sauron asked. He and Logan were old friends. It was him who transformed Logan, who was no more than an ordinary mutant, into what he is today. Possessing the indestructible adamantium skeleton and claws. Self-healing ability has also been enhanced. Logan's amnesia was caused by him. He thought that Sauron wanted to retrieve his memory for Logan. Didn't care. Said. The first time I met Logan was in 1981. At that time, Logan and his brother were court-martialed. I discovered them from the military's internal files and recruited them. Colonel William did not hide it. This is no secret to him. There is no need to hide something and get a beating. But for Sauron. But it's very important. In the future, the powerful Sentinel almost slaughtered all the mutants. Charles and Magneto joined forces once again. They obtained key intelligence. Sentinel, why is it so powerful? Because, in 1973, the genius scientist, Bolivar, obtained Mystique's body. Through genetic research on her, Sentinel was invented to suppress mutant super ability. Thus, in this war, an absolute victory was won. Charles and Magneto, in the final moments. Through Shadowcat's ability, Wolverine's consciousness is returned to the body of 1973. Let him channel 1973's Charles and Magneto. Finally reverse the future. As a result, the timeline was changed. Old history and new history are born. Since, William first met Logan in 1981. Then, where Sauron is, it must be old history. For mutant, new history is the real end. Genetically modified food has almost completely eliminated the X gene in newborns. Logan, the Twilight Wolf, will eventually die. In fact, it does not matter whether it is old history or new history. For Sauron, it's the same. Sauron left directly. Colonel William was immediately dumbfounded. Shouldn't he be interrogated as to why he attacked Xavier's school? Charles, where is he being held? Don't want to talk about the conditions. Just asked a question and left. Sauron naturally knows all this. Super brain allows him to recall the memories of another world with incomparable clarity. After all, he is wearing a suit, and his past memories are stored in his brain cells. After returning to his room, Sauron began to check the system. A commando team of 120 people, six armed helicopters, each with five crews. 150 people in total. On their death, 150 light groups dropped. Sauron took one look and threw them all to the system for recycling. They are all ordinary people, none have super abilities, and their abilities are all ordinary. Obtained, 1,500 system gold coins. The most common whiteboard axe costs 100 gold coins. On the whiteboard, there is a green axe with 1,000 gold coins. Only axes that are green or above can drop extraordinary abilities, abilities, or mysterious creations, science fiction creations. Exchange it for a green axe. When the consciousness enters the system space, the sacred tree of fallen treasures and the towering ancient trees appear. There are countless light groups on the tree. Soren's consciousness flashed, and he saw the green axe on the sacred tree of falling treasures. A mark was cut on the tree trunk. Blink to recovery. The light group on the tree dropped one. Battle suit mold. Through consciousness, determine the form and appearance of the battle suit, and add the materials to make the battle suit. You can get a perfect battle suit. The strength of the battle suit depends on the material. Sauron was immediately happy. Now that he is no longer dormant, he should also have his own battle suit. He didn't like the X-Men's uniforms. Now, he has awakening and has all the same super abilities as super. Get yourself a Superman battle suit. 
It also fits his aesthetic quite well. Definitely, he doesn't like the battle suit worn outside underwear. A black battle suit with a red cape is perfect. However, battle suit materials. Although he has a biological force field that can protect the battle suit from damage. But ordinary materials are simply not worthy of him. Wakanda's vibranium. Sauron shook his head, he had a better choice. There is adamantium in Colonel Williams' reservoir base. Build your own battle suit with adamantium. Only in this way can you be worthy of your own identity. Sauron decided to use adamantium. As for Colonel William's opinion. It is not important. He's taken a liking to it, and it's his. How should Wolverine kill Death Girl? Such an obedient female thug should surrender to him. Be his personal secretary. Arrange the secretary to do something. Fine. Sauron sleeps. As you breathe, your body automatically absorbs the escaping solar energy from the sky and the earth to strengthen your body. But there are people who haven't slept yet. Mystique, through her ability, sneaked into Colonel William's office. She obtained Magneto's prison cell. Also obtained, the guard's personal file. In the bar, the guard who is responsible for delivering food to Magneto every day has a romantic encounter. A woman who took the initiative to embrace her made him extremely excited. He doesn't have Soren's good looks and charm. There is no such thing as a pie in the sky. Directly knocked unconscious by the medicine. Mystique, injected 200 milliliters of liquid iron into his body. An entire assault team disappeared organically in America. This is a major event that is enough to shock the entire Wujiao building. Although, Xavier's school for gifted youngsters is located. The surrounding land belongs to the Xavier family. But there is a small town nearby. Last night, the sky is so gorgeous. The ammunition that explodes one after another is far more brilliant than firework. The explosion of the helicopter was even more brilliant. Even though it's midnight. But there are also many people who go to bed late and see all this. Some young people even took photos and posted them online. Those poor pixels can't be captured clearly at all. But the brilliant sparks of the explosion were extremely eye-catching. Colonel Williams' actions were approved by the president. Wu Zhao building is known. How could America's military operations not be supported by satellites? Collection of information at all levels. In a conference room, the Undersecretary of Defense, Five Star General Sam, personally presided over the meeting. One of our elite assault teams turned out to be an organized one and disappeared on our own land. I need an explanation. Admiral Sam stared at the person in front of him with majestic eyes. At this moment, there are still two hours before dawn. Many people either stayed up all night or were summoned from their beds. The CIA, the Bureau of Investigation, Homeland Security, and SHIELD. They were all called to participate in this meeting. Point 5 Building, Satellite Support Operations Command Center, Colonel Keir. He distributed some satellite photos to everyone. Mr. General, sirs, this is the picture taken by our military satellite last night when it provided satellite support for the capture of Colonel William. Everyone looked down. Everyone's brows were all furrowed. Sauron, destroy that assault team because of the obstruction of the jungle. No valid photos were taken. However, he was photographed flying into the sky and confronting the helicopter. The figure is clear, but the face is not photographed. Mutant. Director Lauren of the CIA asked aloud. The existence of mutant is not a secret. The CIA even has a dedicated mutant intelligence team. Specialized in obtaining difficult information. It's the CIA's trump card. Colonel Keel, look at the Admiral. Admiral Sam nodded. Colonel Keir spoke up and said. Last night, Colonel William received authorization to lead an assault team, supported by six armed helicopters. Go to Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters in Westchester, New York, and capture the mutant. However, the assault team disappeared completely as soon as they entered the nearby jungle. And this mutant with flight ability can do it in just one minute. Destroy all six of our advanced armed helicopters. Admiral Sam's eyes were gloomy. Everyone, this is treason. That's a group of terrorists. I want you to figure out the true identity and strength of this mutant. He must be captured. However, there was a kind of greed in the eyes of the several directors present. Such a powerful mutant, if in hand. It will definitely give yourself more voice. Even, make a contribution. 
They all want to capture Sauron and use him for their own purposes. Inside a plastic prison built specifically for Magneto, Lorio, the food delivery guard, with a red face, held the dinner plate and started to pass through the metal detection system. It's just that this time the detection took a few seconds longer than usual. No metal can pass. Hearing the inspector's words, Lorio shrugged and walked into the suspended passage. Then walk into the volleying prison made of tempered glass. Magneto, who was lying on the bed, sensed the presence of iron. A smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Sleep well Lencher. Rorio was in a very good mood, and he even began to greet this special prisoner in custody. There's something wrong with you. Magneto, Eric said. Lorio didn't think anything of it. He thought Magneto was talking about his high spirits. Yes, I had a great time last night. Eric has sat up. No, that's not what I meant. He stood up and Rorio's expression changed. He felt that this was Magneto's provocation against him. Sit down. But Magneto, don't say no to him. Rorio pulled out the glass rod from his waist. Sit down for me. Lorio was angry. However, Magneto raised his head and pointed at him. The huge magnetic field controlled the high concentration of iron ions in Lorio's body. Rorio's whole body was suspended, and he felt extremely painful. What did you do to me? Magneto, however, suddenly realized. So that's it. The iron content in your blood is too high. After saying that, he made a fist with his hand. In Lorio's body, the iron ions injected by Mystique flew out through the blood vessels and skin. But in Rorio's eyes, a dance of blood spurted out from his body. His body became riddled with holes. The iron ions gathered and three iron balls flew around Magneto's body. Then, this special prison was constructed of tempered glass and plastic. Crush, Magneto, be free, because Sauron, Xavier's school, is not the same as in the original book. Some students were arrested. Some students, along with Colossus, escaped through a secret passage. Wolverine and Iceman, Pyro, and the Rugrats, escaped to Bobby's house. Although there is Sauron, fluttering the wings of butterflies. But what has changed is only part of the plot. Many things are still going on as in the original work. The X-Men's vehicle, a supersonic stealth aircraft. It was built by Beast, the genius scientist of the X-Men. Definitely, inseparable from the financial support of Charles, the super-rich man. Supersonic flight, radar stealth, optical stealth. There is no doubt that this fighter jet has deeply attracted the attention of the military. Colonel William was able to convince the president. This plane is one of them. Phoenix and Storm, borrowing communications from Colossus. You know, what happened in the academy. Then he hurried back. But as they approached the academy, they were targeted by America's Air Force. Two F-16 fighter jets appeared behind the X-Fighter. Aurora discovered it from the radar immediately. Two fighter planes have appeared and are flying in quickly. As soon as she finished speaking, a voice sounded in the radio system. The unidentified aircraft immediately lowered its altitude to 20,000 feet. We will escort you back to Hanskanu Air Force Base. You have 10 seconds to do it. Aurora was confused. Say it to Phoenix. What are they going to do? Another sound came from the radio system. We will approach both sides of you and escort you immediately to Hanskanu Air Force Base. This time, there was a tone of voice that said no one could refuse. At the same time, two F-16s were also flying parallel to the X-Fighters. Please lower the altitude immediately. Aurora looked out the window. The flight attendant on the opposite side made a gesture to lower the altitude. Repeat. Please descend immediately. This is the last warning. But obviously, Aurora and Chin still haven't figured out what happened. The military's F-16 began to retreat. They retreated. Aurora frowned, and then the computer issued a warning. They've got us. Then, a piercing siren sounded. Shet. Aurora's spirit instantly became tense. They're launching a missile. Nightcrawler tightened himself with the seat belt, held the cross in his hand, and began to pray silently. Aurora and Chin began to cooperate with each other. Increase the horsepower and maneuver urgently to avoid the lock of the fire control radar. However, the F-16 behind is holding on tight. You run, I chase. Aurora and Chin already cooperate very well. Jean takes full control of the driving. Aurora's eyes turned white. 
She uses her super ability to control the weather outside. Dark clouds began to gather. Tornadoes formed one after another, penetrating the sky and the earth. Chin piloted the X fighter and survived in the cracks of the tornado. The two fighters at the back were avoiding the tornado while pursuing the X fighter. Soon, a fighter plane passed through a tornado. The fighter plane fell into a stall and tailspin. In this bad weather, there is no way to save yourself or escape. Flight crew, skydive. Only one left. Didi. The fire control radar reminds me of the target lock tone. The pilot decisively fired two Sidewinder missiles. Fly towards the X fighter. The flight crew jumped decisively. Aurora saw the plane disappearing from the radar. Breathing a sigh of relief, she used her super ability to disperse the storm she had gathered. The X fighter flies into the sunshine again. Chin also breathed a sigh of relief. But it only lasts two seconds. The computer alerts again. Oh god. Two missiles are flying over us. Horror appeared on Aurora's face. She controls the X fighter and dodges. However, the director's speed is always far faster than that of an airplane. This time, it's Aurora's turn to take full control of flight. Various evasive actions are being carried out. Chin, on the other hand, uses her own ability. She exerted all her strength, and Phoenix Force emerged from her eyes. The tail jet of a Sidewinder missile was redirected. The Sidewinder missile rolled sideways and exploded in the air. One more, Aurora reminded. Chin, but, this one is too close. Oh, God. Jean's control failed. Sidewinder missile explodes. A hole was blown open on the top of the X fighter. The plane is out of control. Start spinning and fall at a very fast speed. In Xavier's school, Sauron is sleeping. But with his super hearing, he heard the explosion. He woke up instantly. Supervision activates. I saw the X fighter stalling and falling. Due to changes in the plot, the X fighters did not go to Bobby's house. Naturally, the time of return was advanced. Soren's figure disappeared instantly. Boom. The deafening sonic boom resounded throughout the entire academy. Sauron flew towards the falling X fighter at top speed. This time it's early, Magneto hasn't come nearby yet. Aurora and Chin tried their best to control the plane, trying to pull the plane back from a stall. However, the number on the altimeter plummeted rapidly. The forest canopy is right in front of you. Aurora and Chin looked at each other in despair. However, the X fighter went straight in an instant. If it weren't for the seat belts, the two of them would have been thrown away due to the huge inertia. Aurora and Chin couldn't help but look ahead. Sauron breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, the X fighter is not too far away from the academy. He felt it in time. Otherwise, this pair of black and white pearls will perish. He is not greedy for Aurora's ability. But Phoenix Force. In the Marvel Universe, there is an extremely powerful and special kind of original power. Sauron, how can you not be greedy? Aurora and Chin looked towards the front of the fighter plane. However, the fighter plane originally blocked their vision. But soon, they felt that the plane was being leveled. Then, the two of them saw it, which shocked them. An unimaginable scene. Sauron, shirtless, just wear a pair of big pants. With both hands, he grabbed the X fighter's head. Just hold the X fighter and land slowly. Aurora blinked hard and looked around. Below is the dense jungle canopy. At least dozens of meters above the ground. Looking at the altimeter again, the height displayed on it is 2,000 feet. One foot equals 30.48 centimeters. 66 meters high. At this moment, the X fighter's engine stalled completely. No vertical airflow is ejected. Aurora looked at Sauron stupidly. At this moment, Sauron showed the ability. At least it's super strength and flight. But Sauron, doesn't he only have heat vision? Just now, I experienced a life and death crisis. Chin's mental state is extremely unstable. Deep in her consciousness, the cracks in the mental cage set by Charles became even bigger. Dark Phoenix. Dark Phoenix is a personality born out of Jean's fear of her own power. She is full of desire and violence. Chin's eyes flickered with a faint black light. Part of Dark Phoenix's consciousness escaped from the prison of his mind. It is affecting Chin's main consciousness. Sauron, the powerful power displayed at this moment. And the huge energy contained in the body. All make Dark Phoenix extremely eager. 
Chin's pure gaze began to be mixed with greed and desire. Soren, with a smile on his face, looked at the two beautiful teachers. Aurora's eyes were filled with incredible shock. Sauron, not surprised. But when his eyes made contact with Chin, he was stunned. Why does the way Chin looks at me look so stringy? In the past, Sauron did not provoke this beautiful teacher. He was devoted to cultivation, and before he became an adult, he had no intention of seducing women. Definitely, he is an adult now. You can experience those beautiful things. However, he and Chin had no special relationship or communication before. Why was Chin looking at him so hard at this moment? Sauron figured it out in an instant. Dark Phoenix. Charles's mental prison can no longer trap this beast. This is old history that has not yet reversed the future. Jean, will be blackened. However, how could we let go of the piano that was delivered to our door? Soren's eyes began to be unscrupulous and he boldly flirted with others. All this falls in Aurora's eyes. Her eyes suddenly widened. Thank you. What's happening here? Chin and Sauron, secretly. Sauron did not put the plane on the ground. Instead, it flew towards the academy close to the tree crown. Going back, of course, there is no need to use supersonic speed. The floor of the college basketball court opened. Sauron held the X fighter and landed in the underground hangar. The damaged fighter planes will naturally be repaired. Aurora, Jean, and Nightcrawler step off the plane. Sauron, should you explain it to us? Aurora spoke directly. Chin's eyes became clear again. With her mind restored, Chin subconsciously locked up Dark Phoenix again. Sauron shrugged and said, It's nothing, I just suddenly awakened a few more super abilities. Aurora is also a top-notch Black Pearl. She is 90% similar to Soren, a female star in Hollywood in her previous life. The figure is curvy. The dressing style is different from Chin. Sauron casually fooled Aurora. Jin, Colonel William, arrested the professor and Scott. Go and interrogate him and see where Colonel William is keeping the professor. Also, let's see what Colonel William has hidden secrets. Sauron spoke directly. Tell Chin to go do something. When Chin heard that the professor and Scott had been arrested, she immediately became worried and nervous. Okay, I'll go right away. She didn't even notice. As a teacher at the academy, he is a member of the X-Men. But you have to listen to the orders of a student. Aurora realized it, but just as she was about to speak, Sauron said to her. Aurora, get ready. If we rescue the professor, the college will lose its protection. Students need a secluded and safe place. Awaiting our return. Aurora was about to say, am I the teacher or you are the teacher? But what Sauron said was indeed a very reasonable matter. All she had to say was, okay, I'll arrange this. Aurora left too. That leaves Sauron and Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler's face was blank, still a little helpless. Sauron is somewhat interested in his life experience. There is a saying that Nightcrawler is the son of Mystique and the Red Devil. He inherited the Red Devil's ability and Mystique's appearance. Who are your parents? Sauron asked directly. Nightcrawler, confused. How does he know who his parents are? For as long as he can remember, he has been an abandoned orphan. Wandering around and growing up hard. When Sauron asked, his expression suddenly became a little sad. I don't know who my parents are. Soren's gaze glanced toward the southeast. He saw Magneto and Mystique, heading here. Sauron patted Nightcrawler on the shoulder and said. You might see your mother coming in a while. Nightcrawler, eyes widened. His mother. He wondered, how did the person in front of him know? Sauron is currently in contact with people who are members of the X-Men franchise. His appearance in the movie he watched in his previous life was 90% similar. He speculated that he was in the Marvel movie universe. In different Marvel universes, the origins of many people and what happens to them are different. If you can really help me find my parents, I will definitely be grateful to you. Nightcrawler said seriously. Sauron smiled. Nightcrawler's ability is pretty good. Teleport. You can go wherever you see with your own eyes or wherever you have been. In the future, if we go to Asgard, or the Nova Empire, or the Kree Empire, etc. With this ability, you can go wherever you want. Nice. If you think of it, do it. Come on, let me try your ability and let's have a fight. Sauron spoke directly. 
When Nightcrawler heard this, he quickly waved his hand and refused. No no, we are friends, how can we fight? Soren's eyes glowed dangerously red. Nightcrawler's spirit tensed instantly. An alarm bell is ringing in my brain. Aha. Uh -huh. Nightcrawler disappears and then appears behind Sauron. But with super hearing, Nightcrawler's heartbeat is too clear. Super speed. Turn around. With one blow, he grabbed Nightcrawler by the neck. Nightcrawler's eyes widened, and then his body disappeared instantly. Sauron looked at the empty hand and didn't care. If it were an enemy, Nightcrawler's neck would have been crushed by the pinch just now. In my ears, there was an extremely weak sound of air being squeezed. Sauron moved and stood in front of that space. Nightcrawler's figure appears. He saw Sauron very close at hand. Suddenly he was frightened and jumped back. The figure disappears. But when he appeared again, in front of him was Soren's handsome face with a sunny smile. God. Nightcrawler stopped teleporting, his face was full of shock. How did you do it? No one has ever been able to predict my trajectory. This is really, really incredible. I lost. I am convinced. Nightcrawler looked at Sauron with a look filled with shock and some admiration. I saw a bright ball of light falling from Nightcrawler's body. Then it automatically flew into Soren's body. The smile on his face became even brighter. Your ability is pretty good, but when you teleport, it's because you suddenly disappear and appear. It will cause violent flow in the surrounding air. The abnormal friction of the airflow will reveal your position. Sauron explained it clearly. But Nightcrawler's eyes widened even more. Done. I always feel itchy on my head, as if something is about to grow. No, airflow, friction. I have never heard that. But even if there is, in such a short period of time, he has already locked my position and appeared in front of me in advance. What a fast speed. What a quick response. Nightcrawler looked at Sauron, the admiration in his eyes, plus 999. Sauron asked someone to take Nightcrawler to visit the academy. According to X-Men's past actions, Nightcrawler will basically be absorbed. Sauron is in his room. Start looking at the light balls falling from Nightcrawler. Ability. Teleport can teleport to anywhere within visual range, or to places you have visited before. If you teleport and leave the planet, you need huge energy support. Sauron was delighted. Really. It's teleportation ability. Sauron directly chose Integrate. Then, the light group representing the teleportation ability merged into Soren's body. Sauron began to test, and his figure appeared in high altitudes, mountains, forests, seas, islands, and even went to the other side of Blue Star. After fully mastering this ability, Sauron returned to his bedroom. No one knew that he had left. Bang bang. There was a knock on the door. Enter. Burning Man John opened the door with a hint of respect on his face, and his eyes could not hide his admiration. Boss Sauron, Magneto and Mystique are here. He said to find the current person in charge of the academy. For John, call yourself boss. Sauron, very satisfied. Chin and Aurora, aren't they back? Sauron looked at John and said. John said. Boss Sauron, many of our brothers have decided. I will follow you from now on. Although Jean and Aurora are teachers and members of the X-Men. But we don't agree with their philosophy. We believe that under the leadership of Boss Sauron, we will definitely get everything we want. John has always been smart and ambitious. Sauron nodded with satisfaction. Pat him on the shoulder. I'm going to meet the old man Magneto. You go call the next two teachers. Charles's office. Magneto and Mystique are both very familiar with this place. Sauron is here, meeting with Magneto. Magneto was looking at the familiar layout in the office, nostalgic for the past. He was a little surprised to see a young man come in. Why doesn't Chin come? Eric frowned. Soren's eyes were looking at Mystique aside. He has always been curious about how Mystique can transform into someone else, even through his clothes. So the question is, when she becomes someone else, can she take off her clothes? If you could take it off, would the clothes turn your skin blue? After taking it off, Mystique becomes another person. Will she still have clothes on her body? Mystique frowned. She felt that Soren's gaze seemed to offend her. She has long been accustomed to her appearance in other people's eyes. But Soren's gaze made her feel very different. No discrimination, more like exploration, and eagerness to try. 
Magneto also saw Soren's gaze, but he didn't care. Child, why did you come to see me? Magneto's eyes softened. Sauron, however, walked to the sofa and sat down. There is no chair behind the professor's desk. Magneto Senpei, please sit down. Sauron is very natural. Magneto suddenly realized the young man in front of him. Very unusual. He shook his head and smiled, sitting opposite Sauron. I am in charge of the academy now. Sauron spoke directly. Colonel William invaded the college last night and was captured by me. Jin is interrogating her while Aurora arranges the evacuation of the students. Sauron looked at the clean tabletop. No tea. As an oriental, how can I live without tea when chatting? He snapped his fingers, and John, who was standing outside the door, immediately walked in. Boss, what are your orders? Sauron said. Go find Shuang and ask her to go to the east and get a tea set. Bring back some more to Hongpao. It's not that there's no tea in the academy. But they are all tea bags. What kind of tea is that? Yes. John turned and left. Magneto frowned slightly. Through John's performance, he confirmed that this was not a show for him. The young man in front of me said that he was now the head of the college. Didn't lie to him. This made Magneto very curious. He and Charles are both leaders in mutant. For decades, Magneto wanted to find a successor to his philosophy. However, outstanding young mutants with leadership qualities and abilities are so rare. Although Charles has X-Men, Magneto is not optimistic about people like Scott. Able to become the leader after Charles. Soon, Shuang Shuang walked in carrying a Kung Fu tea set. She squatted in front of Sauron and placed the tea set. Rinse the tea set with boiling water and start brewing the Hongpao. The familiar aroma of tea. Sauron was satisfied. He put his hand on Twinkle's head, rubbing his twinkling little head. Suddenly, her cheeks turned crimson. Go and do your business, I want to talk about something. Twinkle left obediently. What a wonderful grade. Magneto looked at this scene and said with some sigh. He had had many women, and those women had all given birth to children for him. But fate always plays tricks on him. Some children he didn't know existed. Some children died young because of him. Magneto Senpei, please have some tea. Magneto is no stranger to oriental tea either. The two drank together. Like a pair of old friends. Sauron, but did not talk about business. Soon, Chin and Aurora arrived. How could they not care about Magneto's arrival? They were very worried that Magneto was caught while the professor was taking advantage of him. Came to cause destruction. But when they arrived at the professor's office. But I saw John guarding the door. And in the office, Soren and Magneto. Like a pair of old friends, drinking tea and chatting. Magneto has a wealth of life experience. Sauron even knew the many secrets of this universe, and his knowledge was extremely broad. Chin and Aurora were both stunned at the door. Sauron didn't stand up when he saw the two teachers. Instead, he patted his sides. Teachers, come and sit down. This is not the attitude of students towards teachers. Aurora was about to have a fit, but Chin pulled Aurora's hand. How can the contradictions among the people be expressed in front of outsiders? The two walked over, one on the left and the other on the right, and sat on both sides of Sauron. Sauron poured them tea. Taste the tea that Twinkle brought from the east. Aurora really didn't understand. What on earth is Sauron doing? The college is suffering from the biggest crisis since its establishment. But here you are, drinking tea and chatting with your old enemy, Magneto. Is it necessary to hire a three-star Michelin chef to prepare a table? Opening a bottle of 1982 Lafite. Chin, please share the situation of your interrogation with Senior Eric. Sauron leaned back feeling very comfortable. There was a slight black mist in Chin's eyes. The influence of Dark Phoenix is still there, but it's just very shallow. She turned her head and glanced at Sauron before she started talking. Aurora clenched her fists. Like this again. In the end, who is the teacher? Magneto's eyes were also full of surprise. Sauron ordered Chin, and Chin really obeyed. Is there really a young leader in Mutant? Jean has the ability to read minds. She interrogated Colonel William, don't make it too simple. Colonel William, as long as he thinks in his heart, he can be read by Chin. She can also tell whether the heart she reads is a lie. She explained the situation clearly. 
Colonel William's secret bases in the Akali Lake Dam. Charles, Colonel William, used his own son. The master of illusion, Jason's super ability, controls. And Scott was locked up in a special room. Unable to destroy the room with Cyclops, escape. Charles and Scott do not have bodies beyond ordinary people. Once super ability is limited, he became an ordinary person with no power to restrain himself. In her heart, Chin was still worried about her boyfriend. But the more Scott appears in Chin's heart, the black mist under his eyes became thicker and thicker. Chin didn't realize that her hand was placed on Soren's thigh. Magneto's eyes showed confusion and surprise. He shouldn't be too familiar with Jean and Scott. Aurora's heart skipped a beat. Really, something is wrong with them too. Before, my eyes were all scratchy. Now, you don't even shy away from touching your thighs. Sauron knew very well what happened to Chin, but he won't interfere. Sauron leaned forward. His hands were also wrapped around Chin's waist. Really slender, the way Chin dressed concealed her good figure. Not as good as Aurora, who always likes to wear tighter clothes. Chin realized Soren's wanton hand, but didn't stop it. She is nothing, a loyal and loyal woman. Otherwise, in the original novel, Wolverine would not have been tempted. Mystique's eyes flickered, and she didn't know what she was planning. Magneto smiled inwardly. He is an old man in his 70s or 80s. He didn't care about this thing about young people. Since Colonel William is in your hands, then we'd better go rescue Charles as soon as possible. The purpose of Magneto's visit this time is not simply to save Charles, an old rival and old friend. Mystique, in Colonel William's computer. Not only that, but the location where Magneto was being held and the guard information were obtained. She was still in it and discovered the brain computer information. She told Magneto this. An extremely crazy idea came to Magneto's mind. While Charles is being controlled by the master of illusions, he wants Charles to use his brain machine to kill all ordinary people. Let mutant become the only human being on this planet. Sauron is naturally aware of Magneto's conspiracy. In Soren's view, whether mutants are inhumans, they are all human beings. Mutants and inhumans can be regarded as a special race in a broad sense. That's all. Magneto's conspiracy is doomed to fail. Sauron said, not in a hurry. Colonel William is here. Colonel Charles and Scott are locked up. But there won't be any danger. Furthermore, students in the college also need to temporarily arrange a safe place. Once we go to save the professor, the defenses here are empty. I don't want to have my home stolen. Magneto frowned, he didn't want to wait. But, he just escaped. Brotherhood has been scattered all over the place in the past two years. For a while, it was difficult to summon manpower. He didn't want to fight alone with Mystique alone. That's okay. Magneto could only agree. Aurora, go and help you to arrange a room. Sauron turned his head and ordered Aurora. Aurora, listening to Soren's tone of ordering his men. I feel even more angry. But Magneto was here, so she could only suppress her anger. In a blink of an eye, Sauron and Chin were the only ones in the room. Sauron leaned back and looked at Chin with a teasing look in his eyes. Chin also leaned on the sofa. Turning sideways, he looked at Sauron. Little guy, you just went too far. Soren's hand was playing with a strand of Chin's red hair. Teacher, but just now, it was clearly you who took the initiative. Sauron is not one of those little boys in the academy who has to talk about love secretly. A trace of surprise flashed in Chin's eyes. Start with Sauron and save the out-of-control fighter plane. Chin felt that everything she knew about Sauron was useless. The boy in front of me has become extremely strange. If not, Soren's brainwave frequency did not change, she would have suspected that the person in front of her was being disguised. Chin didn't say anything, and she didn't understand why she reached out and touched Soren's thigh. Soren's fingers traced Chin's face. Chin, the professor's grade is already quite high. He worries too much about the academy. I think we should select someone with outstanding ability to help the professor share the burden. Chin's eyes moved away from Soren's hand. The person you are talking about who has outstanding abilities is you, right? Sauron nodded and admitted. So, whose side will you side with? Soren's fingers slid down Chin's neck. Just when Soren's finger was about to touch the forbidden mountain peak. Chin, reaching out, stopped him. Her breathing was a little rapid. 
His eyes were also frighteningly hot. However, those children outside made chaotic noises. Keep her from losing her mind. Sauron, don't. I have not decided yet. Dark Phoenix is her alter ego. Dark Phoenix's thirst for lust and violence. It was the hidden self deep inside her. Otherwise, in the original novel, could Wolverine seduce her? How many times have they met? After the Battle of the Statue of Liberty, Wolverine began her journey to find her roots. For three long years, there was no Xavier's school at all. The two of them couldn't even develop feelings. The main conscious reason suppresses the inner impulse. Sauron nodded. He would not force a woman. Sauron heard the sound of someone coming. He took his hand back. Chin, then go and do your work. Although William was caught by us. But it won't be easy for him to save the professor. In fact, America's military has sent people to temporarily take over Colonel William's base. Currently studying how to break through the illusion of the master of illusion. Jason is the son of Colonel William, and he only listens to him. Jean nodded. She stood up neatly, turned and left. Chin's brows furrowed slightly. She began to look at herself. She couldn't understand why she suddenly felt so different towards Sauron. She could feel that Sauron had a special charm that deeply attracted her. This has never happened before. The little naughty boy watched Chin leave without thinking much. Passing by the door, I saw Sauron sitting on the sofa. The little naughty boy was delighted. Opportunities to be alone with Sauron are rare. There are too many girls who like Sauron in the academy. At present, only Flicker, relying on himself and Sauron, are both Easterners. We have many common topics and hobbies, and can often appear around him. For the rest of the people, every time they wanted to find him alone, someone would appear, compete and destroy him. When Magneto left, John was dominated by Sauron. The little naughty boy took a deep breath and looked at his clothes. No problem, she just went in. Sauron, you are here. The little naughty boy sat down directly next to Sauron. A piano left, and a little naughty boy came. You're looking for me? Sauron asked. The little naughty boy nodded and said. Teacher Aurora, let us all go to an underground shelter to stay. I don't want to go, can I accompany you on the mission? Sauron shook his head. The naughty little girl was just an ordinary girl before she absorbed other people's abilities. There's nothing I can do to help. Be good and stay in the bunker. Charles's adoptive father, worried that the war would spread to America, spent huge sums of money to build an underground shelter. As long as I'm here, it's enough. Soren reached out and touched the naughty face. He is the only one who is not afraid of Rugrat's ability. After being discovered by the little naughty boy, he developed a strong dependence on him. Bobby didn't care at all about her pursuit. Could she find a boyfriend with whom she couldn't have skin-to-skin -skin contact? Just looking for spiritual love. The little naughty one is obsessed with eyes and enjoys the feeling of skin-to-skin -skin contact. Soren, you said before that we were all underage. But now, we are all adults. Can you do something? The little naughty eyes were burning. Because of herself, she couldn't have skin-to-skin -skin contact with anyone. There is a strong desire for those intimate behaviors that can make skin contact. How could Sauron refuse? The hand that caressed the little naughty face reached to the back of her head. Pushing towards him, he also pushed forward. Kiss directly. The little naughty heart has been longing for it for a long time, and finally it is satisfied. She hugged Soren's neck tightly. Searing response. The naughty little figure is absolutely domineering. Three years ago, when she was 15 years old, she was already ahead of most adults. Three years later, it was even more terrible. Although this is not a place to do business. But let's get over it first, and let's talk about other addictions later. Aurora, in the guest room assigned to Magneto. Magneto and Mystique were talking about Sauron. Raven, do you think it's possible for him to come with us? Magneto looked calmly at the scenery outside the window. Mystique said, Lencher, he won't go with you. He is young, full of ambition and desire. There are so many young mutants here. He will be here and form his own team. And beautiful teachers, and girls. Magneto turned his head and looked at Mystique. Raven, whoever can win your heart can have all the beauties in this world. Mystique can take on the appearance of anyone. Even those who fantasize. What man wouldn't like his woman to have such ability? 
After dinner, the students of the college will hide in the underground fortress. The entrance to the shelter is very hidden. In the academy, only the teachers know. The little naughty face was red and fair, sitting next to Sauron. When she looked at Twinkle, her eyes held the pride of a winner. When he looked at Shadowcat, he was disdainful. The rest of the female students were ignored by the little naughty boy. The twins and Katie were so angry that they gritted their teeth. John was waiting for some boys and looked at his boss. The adoration in his eyes is even deeper. As expected, he is indeed the boss. Not to mention having invincible strength, even the ability to pick up girls is so outstanding. Bobby looked at the little naughty boy with his rosy face. When his eyes touched her somewhat red and swollen lips. My heart hurts when I pull it. He has never been in love or seen a pig running. That's dear. Can't be gentler. Pissed. Chin squirted out the water he just drank. Aurora's face was full of water, and there was resentment in his eyes. Sorry sorry. Jean quickly apologized, but she really couldn't hold it back. She didn't do it intentionally, but she activated it by herself through mind reading. She happened to hear Bobby's heart. Aurora took paper and wiped her face. Chin turned her resentful eyes towards Sauron. So, you haven't been idle since I left. Sauron didn't know that there were so many dramas just for a meal. It's a pity, Aurora insisted, and let the students live in the shelter tonight. By Colossus, Bobby, John, Rugrats, these senior students. Responsible for the care and protection of those in the lower grades. Sauron was the only student involved in the action. At night, Soren was reading in his room. If it weren't for Aurora's insistence, I would have done it tonight. He can taste the beauty of the little naughty boy. In my ears, I heard the sound of footsteps. Soon, he stopped in front of his door. The door is opened. Jean stood outside his door. In her hands, she held a bottle of red wine and two wine glasses. Would you like a drink? Chin's smile was full of seductive aura. Sauron smiled and nodded, but there was a hint of coldness hidden in his eyes. His super hearing, super vision, clearly sees. Jean is in her room. So, who is the Chin in front of me? No need to think too much. Chin poured the red wine and handed the glass to Sauron. Then, sit on the edge of the bed. Cheers. Chin's complexion became increasingly crimson. The light in his eyes will ripple out. Sauron took a sip and put it aside. He reached out and pinched Chin's chin. A pair of pianos, just let them taste. But Sauron sighed. He could kiss the real Chin, so why bother kissing a fake one? Seeing Sauron, he hesitated to move. Jean's brows furrowed. Soren, do you still want the teacher to take the initiative? Chin said in a resentful tone. Mystique, I have the real piano at my fingertips, do you think I would care about this fake one like you? Chin was stunned for a moment. How did you recognize me? Mystique, transform back into yourself. Her brows furrowed. His eyes were full of doubts. She believes that her ability is flawless. Unless, test genes, or ask some secret questions. But from the outside, she can definitely look exactly the same. Sauron let go. Doesn't answer this question. Mystique becomes Aurora again. What about Aurora? The silver-haired Black Pearl made romantic moves towards Sauron. But Sauron was unmoved. Mystique is in trouble. She becomes Flash again, the little rascal, Shadowcat. Beautiful girls in these colleges. Soren's eyes remained calm. These girls all pounced on him. If he wants to sleep, he can sleep. How could Mystique become them and arouse his desire? Mystique has transformed all the beauties she has ever seen. Sauron still looked at her with lack of interest. Mystique feels that this is the biggest insult to her super ability. Soren, don't you like women? Mystique doubted. Soren's eyes became sharp. It's obvious that Mystique doesn't have the skills, so how can you blame him for not being interested? Soren took out the banknotes and quickly drew on the paper. Soon, an oriental beauty appeared on the page. Can you become like this? When Mystique saw it, his eyes widened. This is an oriental beauty in ancient costume, so beautiful. But he has a pair of fox ears. What Sauron painted was fox-eared in Phoenix 9. In 2003, the future top oriental actress, Reba. She's just a 12-year-old girl. Furthermore, when she grows up, it won't be a problem if Sauron wants to get her. However, fox ears and Phoenix 9 do not exist in reality. It's impossible for Reba to grow fox ears. 
Mystique can become like that. Mystique looked at Sauron with complicated eyes. Then, she turned into a fox-eared phoenix. Sauron finally became interested. By the way, have you ever given birth to a child? Sauron asked. Mystique shook his head and said. No, the heartbeat is fine, that's not a lie. Sauron doesn't want to be Nightcrawler's father. Solon herself can get a realistic female star. But the little dragon girl, Sudaji, various little fairies, and the beast-eared lady. In this Marvel universe, it also belongs to illusory existence. Finally, it's available through Mystique. After several storms, Sauron touched Feng Ju's fox ears. In my heart, I am very satisfied. From now on, just stay with me. Soren's tone could not be refused. For the first time, Mystique experienced the happiness of a woman. Her mentality has also undergone some changes. Then what if Eric asks me to go back? Sauron said calmly. Then it's enough for him to have lived for such a long time. Mystique nodded. I see. Sure enough, if you want to conquer a woman's heart. Conquer her desire first. Suddenly, Sauron felt that he was becoming more and more like Azu. They all have one, a shapeshifter. But Sauron immediately threw this idea out of his mind. Azu, how can you compare with him? That crybaby weakling. Soren's mind was quickly attracted by a light group. A ball of light fell from Mystique's body. This opened the door to a new world for Sauron. It turns out that light balls can be dropped only by damage, defeat, and kill. This way, you can also get it. Shapeshifting. You can change your own cells and tissue structure at will, and you can transform into anyone's appearance. Including fingerprints, irises, skin texture, voice, and even gender. Soren's eyes hesitated for a moment. System, recycle. Ding. Congratulations to the host, you have obtained 5,000 system gold coins. Sauron was stunned. A super ability can actually defeat so many ordinary abilities or abilities. Early the next morning, Sauron was in high spirits. The taste of fox or feng ju is really great. Magneto repaired the damaged areas of the ex-fighter. Sauron, Magneto, Mystique, Jean, Aurora, and Wolverine, who just woke up this morning. Nightcrawler, was left in the underground shelter. Once a situation arises, he can take everyone to a safe place quietly. Mystique is not fooling. This disappointed Nightcrawler once again. Sauron breathed a sigh of relief. Age means nothing to people with the ability to extend their lives. Mystique's body is in the state of an ordinary woman, 30 years old. But if he had given birth to a child, Sauron would find it difficult to accept it. The ex-fighter landed near Akali Lake. Wolverine walked in front. He looked at everything here and felt an inexplicable sense of familiarity. Everyone, enter the flood channel. Sauron stretched out his hand and pulled Wolverine, who was walking in the front. Logan looked at Sauron in confusion. There is surveillance. He pointed ahead, to a hidden camera. Magneto raised his hand and disconnected a wire in the camera through magnetic field control. In the monitoring room, the scene in the number one flood discharge channel suddenly turned into snowflakes. The person responsible for checking the surveillance picked up the walkie-talkie and began to report. General Ross, the footage of spillway number one is lost. In the core area inside the dam. General Ross is discussing with some scientists how to deal with the master of illusions. His eyes suddenly became sharp. He never believed that some situations were accidental. Team 3, go check out the situation. Yes, in the number one flood discharge channel, Soren's eyes showed a hint of surprise. General Ross, he actually took over Colonel Williams' position. Are you in charge of mutant? At the moment, he should put all his focus on restoring the formula of super serum. Moreover, it shouldn't be long. His would-be son-in-law, Bruce Banner, was about to be exposed to gamma rays. Transformed into the Hulk. At this time, he still has the energy to clean up the mess for others. Sauron nodded to Mystique. Mystique turned into Colonel William. Soon, footsteps were heard from ahead. A group of heavily armed soldiers appeared. The red laser of the laser irradiator was focused on everyone's heart. Colonel William. They didn't expect that Colonel William, who disappeared, would appear again. Mystique turned into Colonel William and said, Whose subordinates are you? The squad leader immediately replied, Colonel William, this place is now taken over by General Ross. 
Then, he used the intercom system again and began to report. General Ross, Colonel William found. He was accompanied by Phoenix, Storm, Magneto, Wolverine, and a strange young man from the intelligence. General Ross frowned. But soon, he sneered. Catch him. They are all in disguise. General Ross, but he knows. Magneto is always accompanied by Mystique, who has the ability to shapeshift. Mystique isn't here. Colonel William, who has disappeared and is suspected of being captured, is here. Colonel William is transformed by Mystique. If you resist, you will be killed immediately. The sound of the intercom resounded through the number one flood discharge channel. Soren's face was calm. Don't be surprised if your identity is revealed. Magneto's expression changed. Just reach out and control the magnetic field. All weapons are aimed at their owners. Facing the black hole of the muzzle, even the elites of hundred battles felt fear. Under Magneto's control, the guns moved forward one meter, and the soldiers also obediently stepped back one meter. A disdainful smile appeared on the corner of Magneto's mouth. Look, we are not here, we have someone to lead the way. Soon, everyone, led by these soldiers, arrived in front of a thick alloy door. Magneto frowned. I have absolutely no control over this door. This discovery made Magneto extremely angry. He didn't like this feeling of being out of control. The camera on the wall transmits the scene in front of the door to the world behind the door. In the control center, General Ross stared at the monitor. General, special electromagnetic fields are installed on the important alloy doors here. Specialized restraint, Magneto's ability. Colonel William has studied mutant his whole life. Magneto is his top priority. Magneto looked at the camera, controlled the muzzle of the gun, and pointed it at the heads of these people. He said to the camera, Open this door, or I will kill them. Magneto threatened. Sauron, standing behind, shook his head slightly. General Ross is a hardliner. Magneto's threat may well backfire. Sure enough, under Soren's super perspective, General Ross suddenly reached out and pressed a red button on the console. A piercing siren sounded from the number one flood discharge channel. Two openings suddenly opened on the walls on both sides. Thick humid air came from the pavement. There was even more rumbling sound of water. Magneto's eyes widened. He knew that the rumbling sound was the rushing lake water. Shet. Magneto turns around and runs. Boom. The rushing water of the lake carries immense power. Gushing out from two water outlets. Those soldiers at the front were immediately washed away. Chin, without thinking, stepped forward. She stretched her hands forward. Just block the rushing lake water. You guys leave quickly. I can't hold on for long. Chin turned around and said anxiously. Aurora's eyes instantly became moist. Logan also liked Chin, and he immediately shouted. Let's go together. I can't sacrifice you. Magneto looked back and fled faster. Mystique, also wanted to run, but she looked at Sauron. Seeing him, he had no intention of moving. Gritting his teeth, he still chose to follow Sauron instead of running away. Sauron strode forward and said to Chin, Don't get in the way. As long as I'm here, no one will die. With that said, he pulled the piano behind him. Chin's ability disappears, the lake collapses instantly, catharsis. Biological force field. Soren's biological force field can even wrap around a building. An invisible force field, like an upside down bowl. Hold everyone upside down. The lake water hits the biological force field like a stream hitting boulders. Not even a trace can be shaken. Chin, was dumbfounded. Aurora, Logan, and Mystique were all stunned. Sauron, what ability is this? Chin couldn't believe it. She found that she thought she had understood the new Sauron. But in fact, she still knew nothing about Sauron. Aurora's eyes widened. Sauron, how many abilities have you awakened? I have never heard of any mutant that can awaken so many super abilities. Mystique's eyes were filled with fanatical adoration. Logan's face was full of bitterness. He saw the way Chin looked at Sauron. That is the look of collapse. Which woman can be indifferent to the man who saves her? It's not some super ability. It's just that my body is too powerful, the biological force field naturally created by the body. Sauron explained casually. A professor's son really has a lot of abilities. He has thousands of super abilities. Sauron is not envious of the large group. Thousands of personalities, that's not crazy. 
Chin and Aurora looked puzzled. Logan was also stunned. Charles has children. Sauron ignored Logan. He walked towards the alloy door. His eyes were scarlet, and his heat vision shone on the alloy door. In an instant, a hole was opened. As the heat vision moved, a large hole appeared. The lake water flows into the space behind the door along this large opening. The piercing siren sounds. General Ross, press the stop button quickly. The rushing lake disappeared. Kaka. Boom. Sauron put his hands into the opening of the alloy door. Break it off hard. The half-meter-thick alloy door made an ear-splitting sound. It was twisted by Sauron, and a two-meter-wide passage appeared. Da da da. Countless bullets were shot at Soren's body. Steel pieces piled up on Soren's feet. Scarlet heat vision swept across. The gun and the man were broken into two pieces. The smell of burning flesh filled the entire room. Some scientific researchers in white coats began to feel sick when they smelled this smell. Many people even vomited. Sauron, step into this room. Through a thick layer of strengthening glass, I saw General Ross. General Ross also saw Sauron. The alloy door half a meter away would take a lot of effort to explode even from C4. But under the heat vision of the person in front of him, he was pierced in just the blink of an eye. And the defense that is not afraid of any bullets. This made him think of it immediately. The one who destroyed William's army and captured him. It's him. General Ross's eyes became excited. He supports his soon-to-be son-in-law, who studies rehabilitation, super serum. Don't you just want to create an army of super soldiers? But if you can control the person in front of you. A hundred super soldiers were born. Get Cyclops on. General Ross, take over here. Discover the prison William built with special materials to imprison Cyclops. But he tried to find a way to let the illusion master confuse Scott. Soon, Scott appeared. The Sauron and others he saw in his eyes were enemies persecuting the academy. Scott moved his hands without any politeness. Put your hand on the glasses and adjust the switch. A laser shockwave came towards Sauron. Soren's eyes instantly turned scarlet, and his heat vision and laser shockwave met. Two different energies collide. Entanglement, stalemate. Where two energies collide, an energy ball begins to gradually expand due to the filling of two kinds of energy. Cyclops takes a step forward and turns its energy output to maximum. However, the energy ball moved quickly towards Scott. Cyclops, there you are, heat vision rivals. Ah. Scott made a painful sound. He had released his super ability with all his strength. Soon, he was exhausted. As soon as his body becomes weak, he falls down. Without the continuous input of laser shockwave, the energy ball was instantly hit by heat vision. Hardly, hitting the wall behind Scott. Boom. Two huge energies are out of balance. The violent explosion directly affected the reinforced concrete dam body inside the dam. The entire dam is already bearing huge amounts of water pressure. The exploding shockwave caused several cracks to appear in the dam body. The strength of the dam decreases and water begins to seep through the cracks, constantly destroying the reinforced concrete structure. Akali Lake Dam still did not escape his original fate. Soren's biological force field blocked the impact of the explosion. But those scientific researchers are not so lucky. General Ross, also relying on the thick strengthening glass, is safe and sound. General, the main body of the dam has been damaged. The intensity has decreased. It is expected that the dam will be washed away by the lake water in five minutes. In his ears, there was the anxious voice of his subordinates. They are inside the dam. Once the lake water breaks through the dam, they will be trapped inside. General Ross, only temporarily took over. This is not his base. Ruined and wasted taxpayers' money. Activate the self-destruct device, let's retreat. General Ross will not let himself die here. General Ross left directly through the special passage behind him. Go to the helicopter hangar above the dam. Sauron heard clearly, but he did not intercept. General Ross, the plot behind the relationship. What if he dies and the person who replaces him doesn't let Banner continue his research? The Hulk can't afford any accidents. Letting General Ross leave, Sauron said. The dam will self-destruct in five minutes. Let's go separate ways. Coming here, Sauron has only two goals. Conquer the death girl, Yuriko. Get the adamantium. Jean and Aurora go to find the professor. 
Soren handed the fainted Scott to Logan. Under the perspective of his eyes, all the conditions of the entire dam are under his control. Jean has the telepathy ability and leads Aurora straight to Charles. Behind Sauron, followed Mystique. Go straight to where Wolverine was transformed by adamantium. Yuriko didn't know that she had been abandoned. She was William's subordinate, and General Ross thought she was just William's ordinary assistant. He didn't pay much attention to her. She is responsible for protecting the adamantium from being taken by General Ross. Soren's arrival put her in a fighting state instantly. From the tip of each of her fingers, a 20-centimeter long adamantium blade protruded. The widest part is less than one centimeter wide. Sharper than Wolverine's claws. Sharper. More flexible too. Aha. Uh -huh. Yuriko, rushed directly towards Sauron. The ten sharp blades in both hands slashed Soren's chest hard. Yuriko, the scene of her flesh being scratched to pieces did not appear. Sparks fly. Soren's clothes were scratched, but there wasn't even a white mark on his chest. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Since, after the adamantium transformation, Yuriko, tested all metals. Whether it's tungsten or some titanium alloy, she can cut it off easily. This gives her an invincible super attack power. In addition, she is flexible as a woman and has practiced hard in fighting skills. She is confident that no one can survive being close to her. Even Wolverine, who was transformed by adamantium before her. She didn't take it seriously at all. However, the invincible adamantium blade failed to break the defense. Even a mutant with metal transformation is no match for me. I don't believe there are defenses I can't break. Yuriko's eyes were full of stubbornness. Her hands were almost turning into afterimages. I don't know how many times I scratched Soren's chest. Soren's shirt was completely shattered into countless puddings. Revealing his strong upper body. Yuriko stopped in despair. She attacked at least a hundred times. Ten sharp blades mean more than a thousand strikes. But there wasn't even a single red mark or white mark on the strong chest in front of him. But her sharp blade was slightly red due to friction. God, what kind of monster are you? Yuriko said in shock. Sauron reached out and patted his chest. Then he reached out and grabbed Yuriko's neck. The strong suffocation made Yuriko feel the extremely painful feeling. Super self-healing, which prevents her from suffocating. But the pain will not diminish at all. I can only experience that painful feeling again and again. Yuriko slapped Soren's arm hard with both hands. Soren's scarlet eyes, with heat vision, shot directly at Yuriko's body. The flesh and blood on Yuriko's body that was illuminated by heat vision evaporated instantly. Revealing the pale, adamantium skeleton. Adamantium maintains its excellent metallic properties at extremely high temperatures. In the comics, once adamantium is smelted and cooled, it cannot melt even at a temperature of 500,000 degrees. The terrifying energy of heat vision caused the adamantium skeleton to begin to heat up rapidly. Soon, it reaches thousands of degrees. The melting point of iron is only over 1,300 degrees. Thousands of degrees will not let adamantium melt. However, it made Yuriko feel endless pain. She couldn't even make a miserable cry. This is far worse than the pain she suffered when she was transformed by adamantium. Yuriko suddenly stopped moving. She was trapped in suspended animation. Not really dead, super self-healing, making it difficult for her to be truly killed. Sauron let go and threw her aside. Japanese women worship the strong. Showing his strength that he can kill her will make her obedient and obedient. Lying on the ground, the adamantium skeleton begins to cool down. The evaporated flesh and blood also began to grow on its own. Sauron focused his attention on the continuously boiling adamantium liquid. This is smelted raw material and must be kept in this state. Otherwise, after cooling, processing will not be possible at all. A battle suit mold appeared in Sauron's hand. That's a metal cube. There are mysterious patterns on it, which look very unusual. Sauron placed the battle suit mold on top of the liquid adamantium. An energy beam shines from the battle suit mold. Enveloping liquid adamantium. Then, the liquid adamantium is sucked into the battle suit mold one by one. Above it, countless adamantium threads, only one thousandth of a hair thin, began to be mixed and weaved. One, the Superman battle suit set by Sauron, gradually appeared. 
All the liquid adamantium has been consumed, and the battle suit has been woven. Then apply paint with self-healing ability. Blood red cloak. Deep black battle suit. On the chest, a big red S. Although both are S, they are not the symbol of the L family. Instead, the initials of Sauron, S. Also, the initials of Superman, Superman. After the painting was completed, a huge electric current poured into the battle suit. The mold disappears and the battle suit falls into Soren's hands. He began to inspect, his eyes extremely satisfied. It is clearly made of adamantium, which is extremely hard, but it is as soft as ordinary textiles. But it feels cool to the touch and very comfortable. Under Soren's supervision, each fiber line composed of tens of thousands of metal wires is engraved with a special circuit. Make the entire battle suit into a hole. Energy runs in the circuit, giving the battle suit special electromagnetic field protection. No electromagnetic force or electromagnetic field can affect the battle suit. Magneto's magnetic field control cannot affect the battle suit. Sauron was very satisfied. He directly put on the battle suit. Ahem. Yuriko coughed suddenly, took a sharp breath, and came to life again. But when he opened his eyes, he saw Sauron dressed in a very similar costume to Superman in the comics. Her eyes were full of fear. I'll give you a choice now. Soren's voice sounded faintly. Surrender or death. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel.